My name's Level 1 Online, and today we're gonna put an end to this. I've seen so many people online post up pictures of their arcade 1-up sporting a RetroPie image, but they fail to remove the bezels on the left and the right. This is an atrocity, I can't stand for it, and when I see it, I get triggered, I get emotional, and I get... So make sure to hit that thumbs up button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, so now this looks way better. This has the bezels removed, and once again, this is the Wolfenos 32GB Arcade only. I've taken the liberty of going through it and removing all the bezels from the image. I've also made sure the RetroArc.CFGs have been reset, made sure also the controls have been reset. This does have a tracked mode, if you do feel you want to use that instead but I made sure I included a custom theme that does fit the uh, 5 to 4 aspect ratio. This does have video snaps for almost every single game on the image. So here's a brief synopsis of some of the systems that we have here. First on the list is Arcade. After that we have our Daphne system. After that Neo Geo. After that our Capcom section our CPS1, CPS2, CPS3, and then from here we have custom collections starting with Mario. We have a great shoot 'em up section. So this is something I want I personally want to take a look into because I am not an expert when it comes to shooters and I'd love to go through these one by one and see if I can discover like some hidden gems. The remainder of the collections due to the way th this theme is structured, it will go in this folder right here. So we have Atari Data East, Irem, Konami, Midway, Mortal Kombat, Namco, Nintendo, Pac-Man, Sega, SNK, and finally Street Fighter. The total count is 2,421 ROMs. It does also support the favorites, the last played feature as well. A great title on this image is Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. It doesn't look out of whack like the way it does on the actual arcade 1-up. The reason is because the aspect ratio is currently using. So I'm going to go into the menu and give you guys an example of what I'm talking about. We hit start and select. We go into settings, video. And it's currently set to core provided. If you want to fill out the entirety of your screen, then all you simply need to do is toggle this setting and go to 5 to 4 aspect ratio. From there you just exit back, you go to quick menu, you hit configuration override and you hit it to save core overrides. And if you're a fan of Street Fighter, a game that I really recommend you guys checking out is Breaker's Revenge. This game plays very similarly to Super Turbo uh, with easier inputs and much cooler looking sprites in my opinion. So this character, her name is Ryla, and she kind of controls, she's like a mix of Balrog and Blanca all in one. Another great feature I want to highlight is that Wolfenos went through the trouble of adding plenty of scripts to this image. I recommend going through them and checking them out. Now this one right here, this Raspberry Video Out, this is actually one created by Word Dirty Gaming. I did assist him in creating this and it simply goes like this. It gives you an option to choose between 1080p, 720p, and 480. You can either choose to force 4x3 aspect or force the 5 to 4 aspect ratio. And also, if you happen to have the special video cable for your Raspberry Pi, you can try out the special 240p output setting. I do have a video on how to completely set that up if that's a route you want to take. So all we simply do is click on this. So on this page, we just hit OK. And let's say you no longer want to use this on your arcade 1-up. You want to just put this on your regular 1080p monitor. There's an option right here to switch it to 1080p. You just acknowledge. 
it'll apply and then it'll reboot and on your next reboot it'll be at 1080p so once again I'm level one online make sure you check me out on Facebook make sure you join our retro pie group on Facebook as well uh, this image will be going up on arcade punks shortly and make sure you give a big thank you to Wolfenos. Thank you so much for creating this image and giving me the opportunity to edit this and share it with the community. You guys take care.